Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. It is me, Geeky Sparkles. And we're going to have a daily dose of Dismal Disney, but we're not going to have it with Neon today, sadly, because he is off doing something else. So it's just you and me this Sunday. Um, we're going to talk about a fight that broke out at Walt Disney World. Now, this happened a while back. I know not that long, a couple months ago, I think. I talked about it on the Pirates and Princesses blog. I'm not really sure if we mentioned it in a video. We might have, but there was an altercation outside of Space 220 and a cast member allegedly got hit. Well, now thanks to WDW News Today, we have the police report details of what happened. So we're gonna look at that and some of the other fights and things that have been happening recently at Disney. And it's, a, where before, I don't necessarily think it's, I think somewhat it's more frequent than it used to be because we have the fact that people are very stressed. People, they, Disney makes it so hard to do a vacation. Epcot, you throw alcohol into the mix because everybody's drinking around the world. And there, do, there does seem to be a lot of frustrations and a lot of more fighting than before. I also know that now we have cameras and phones and things like that, that we can catch it quicker. Um, and we have the internet so we can spread it further than it used to be before. So it, it, I think it's a little more frequent than before, but I also think it always happened. We just weren't being given the opportunity to see the information. But this one was an interesting one. Um, we're gonna talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. If you do, I'll give you a woohoo, woohoo. And here we go. So we finally got information about this altercation from the police report. Um, it said a newly released police report has revealed details of the arrest of two shirtless men, one who had pulled a, a oh yeah, this is the guy who pulled something out of the ground, and he was like swinging it around and threatening people with it supposedly. Okay, um, this was this was ended up on TikTok, and that's how people found out about it before the police report came out. Yeah, it says guys punched an older lady cast member, the one holding the pole, pulled it out from the ground and started swinging it around and yelling at and coming towards the crowd, and then you can see them being escorted out. So here's what happened according to WWE News today. Um, so it said a man charged Walt Disney World cast member on his scooter during a bizarre fight that led to punches and shirts flying and several family members getting arrested. Raymond Wong was described as a man on the scooter who had signs of impairment of alcohol and or drugs, an Orange County Sheriff arrest report said. And it was June 16th. So, yeah, it was, like, it was only like a month ago. I knew it wasn't that long ago. Uh, Raymond was 46, and he was he's with a group of eight trying to get into Space 220. Okay, so Space 220... Um, I'm not sure how it works now, but it used to be you had to like have a reservation or they were setting you up that you had to go to the counter and set up a reservation. I know when we went, it was a couple of years ago and we had to go to the counter and get a time slot and come back. Personally, save your money or go to the bar part where you can, you can just do your own pick and choose instead of doing the a la carte menu um, or the prefix menu, just do it a la carte because the prefix menu really isn't that good and it's really expensive. And it's kind of cool to see everything. You go up in this elevator and to the restaurant, supposedly 220 miles in the air. And there's a lot of, you know, funky, like, you know, screens and stuff. It's like you're blasting off and you go in and there's like you're in space and it's all around you on these screens. And it sounds really good in theory. Um, and it is neat. And it's a one, I definitely say do at least once. But some of the, the scenes were kind of lame. And the food really just wasn't that good. It was very expensive and it really, really was not. My kids still talk about how bad it was. I ordered a Caesar salad and they literally gave me a whole head, like a like part of a head of romaine lettuce unchopped with stuff on top of it. And I was like, what is this like make your own? It was really weird. And it was really expensive for what it was. That's a whole side tangent. But anyway, back to the story. So they were trying to go up to the host, probably to get a, sp a, a seat in Space 220, I'm guessing. During this exchange, a white male in the group put a cell phone in her face within six inches and started to film her. This, this is the cast member. So she probably told him that she couldn't get them in, and then they started filming her. This action caused her to feel uncomfortable and move the phone away from her face, the arrest report said. The heavyset male in the ECV chair, identified as Raymond, charged the host like a football player and hit her with his hand. And then the host fell on the ground, radioed for help, and she was afraid she was attacked again. And they said a coworker came and, and they got hit in the face. And then Raymond's son jumped into the ruckus, and he's 24, and he punched the manager. Oh, my God. And they took out their shirts for some reason because, you know, that makes it better. Um, then Raymond grabbed the metal pole and started swinging it so nobody could come near him. Clearly, these people were not in their right mind. Uh, yeah, here's the video from TikTok. We talk, We might have talked about it on here. You know, honestly, we do a podcast. We do this. We do the blog. It all kind of blends together after a while. 
So um, they are both shirtless in their mug shots. Uh, one of the family members, Ryan Cannon, insisted on riding the sheriff's patrol car. So here's what was listed on the report, I'm guessing. I advised him multiple times he could not ride in my car. He ha- he appeared to be under the influence of something, and I was not, understand- was not understanding my orders, the rest report said. Shortly after, I walked away and advised him one more time to stay away from my car. While I was staying in the back of my patrol car and speaking to the other deputies, we watched defendant Ray Barkley Cannon walk up to the rear passenger door of my patrol car. He looked around and then reached for the door handle of where defendant Wong was in custody. My patrol car was locked, and therefore he was not successful in making entry. He was then secured and placed under arrest in a separate patrol car. I did not interview him and did not read him Miranda. He made it clear many times that he wanted to be in my car, even though I told him he couldn't. At this point, there was nothing to discuss. Um, then Cannon was arrested without arrested for resisting an officer without violence. Uh, the Roy, Ryu Wong uh, was charged with misdemeanor battery, while his dad Raymond is charged with assault and battery, which is also misdemeanors. Both men pled not guilty according to the Orange County court records. So, yeah, it's interesting. that Now, the person that had the video has them on video being arrested. They don't, and that guy has a poll. There isn't really, a, that I know of, a video of the actual incident. But, yeah, the, basically the guy in the chair got, got picked up a pole and started swinging it. I, I'm, assume, I'm assuming the host couldn't get them what they wanted, is what I'm assuming. They probably wanted a spot, probably... Um, you know, she was like, didn't have an opening. And then they're probably say, oh, it's because you're racist or something. I'm not know this. I'm just saying I'm wondering, because why would you put a phone in her face? Um, and then they hit her. They hit her one time. And then they said he charged like a football player and hit her with his hand. And she raved for help. And then they hit her coworker, supposedly, according to this. He got hit in the cheek and face. And then apparently they sun punched a manager. So it was like an all out brawl over Space 220. And frankly, it's not worth it. You're not missing much. It's a one and done. And they're that bad trying to get in. She might have just denied them entry because they were clearly not in the, in the capacity to enter. Because you, you are in an elevator with a lot of other people on the way up. You are in a room with a lot of people, you know, trying to look in, down into the, there's a, a circle screen in the middle. And you're all along railings trying to look down and see what's going on beneath you. So they probably were like worried about how they behave in the elevator, how they behave in the restaurant, because it's an enclosed space. I don't know why they didn't, what happened. I'm assuming it would, for them to bring the phone out, they probably figured they were going to get her on something. But you can't make this crap up, guys. When it comes to Disney, it's like sometimes you see the best in people and sometimes you see the absolute worst. And unfortunately, the absolute worst is what people usually talk about the most. So that was just one story. That's what we talked about before. Um, I was going to bring a couple other examples up of things we've talked about or we've seen. Um, do you remember the story about the guy that was in line at uh, Soren? And then he's like, I'm a football player and I'm going to, you know, I have more money than you do, I, you know, and all that other crap. Well, that he issued a statement apparently after that. That was last December. And he did apologize because that was a whole ordeal. It was him and a bunch of girls and they were like, he was in the guy's face, you know, saying, I, I, I have more money than you do. And so the guy was uh, this KJ Brathwaite, and he said he apologized for the foul language and lying about being a college football player. His party was removed from Sora and Lyme, but not kicked out of Epcot. Uh, apparently, they, the girls that were with them were, were joining their party, and people were concerned they'd jump line. And then when they started filming them, he started acting like that he did. He opened, he did another video about the altercation. He apologized again, but claimed the guests filming him made racially charged remarks before they hit record. Cause you know, you're always going to blame it on racism. Um, and that was going on. We talked about that before. That's just another example. And that was in line. And, oh, there's racial slurs coming out. I was only a black dude. So I couldn't have been, it couldn't could have been at anybody but me. So he lied about being a football player. I, I don't know. There's that one. Then over in Disneyland, this wasn't that long ago either. There's a fight involving a stroller pushing mom. So a group of women, this one was interesting, a group of women started hitting a woman on the ground at Disney California Adventure as a grade school, as grade school children stood and watched. This is one that happened in May. So this is just like this one, the one from Space 220 was just in the last few months. Um, on April 23rd, okay, it happened in April, but it was posted in May. Um, they were in front of the Lamplight Lounge at Disney California Adventure. Uh, there was a brawl between two groups of women that included a stroller pushing mom during the fray. I saw the video of this before pulling a child to safety, turn an otherwise joyful day at Disney's California Adventure into a mummy fight club. 
filled with emotional whirlwinds of slaps and screams, which is funny because there's a ride called the emotional whirlwind. That's that's the joke. Um, so the Disney California Adventure guest who started the fight was removed from Disneyland Resort property. Disneyland Resort will not tolerate any type of violence. Look, guys, if you don't... I don't know why people keep thinking it's okay to start hitting people. I get people jump line and it's frustrating. But you know what? Anymore with the DAS pass changes, you don't know why they're trying to rejoin their party. They could have been out because they did have a permission. Some people have permission to go to the bathroom and during the party they ask a cast member first, cast member lets them out of line. Disney really, really needs to consider having re-entry points that you could stand and wait until your group comes to that re-entry point and then be added back into the line. I think that would save a lot of... Uh, people getting angry, it would save a lot of people getting harmed because either being stepped on in line or st- being you know attacked for trying to get back to your group. Anymore, you cannot tell. I've seen people get in fights because they thought someone you know pushed in front of them. I've seen people get in fights because you know people make comments at each other in the line. It, there's kids around, guys. I mean, just I know it sucks. I get mad too, and I want to like you know say some things. And sometimes I say things in my breath. But you know what? I wouldn't actually physically harm somebody. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, Back to this. They said, Anaheim police responded to reports of fight and assisted Disneyland security in keeping the peace. They said the fight involved a group of women who punched and slapped another woman who was screaming woman lying on the ground as the children stood and watched. Yeah, there was a video on Instagram and the woman was pushing a baby stroller, joined the fight and slapped the woman sprawled on the ground. You started hitting us with the assailant said. So how about that? The woman yelled, leave her, leave her, another woman yelled, leave her alone and stepped into the beating. Let's see if the video is up there still. Yeah, here, I'll turn the, I'll turn the volume on so we can hear it. Yeah, you can see the strollers and they're hitting this woman and there's little kids just standing there. And then finally they get the little kids away. Yeah, so that was, that was happening at Disneyland. It just seems like we can't have like a month that goes by that there isn't some report of some brawl at one of the Disney theme parks. So there it is. Uh, but the most recent one that I had know about is this one where there was a pole being swung and they escorted them out. And at this point, three cat, at least three cast members got hit. And they were, they were threatening people in the area with a pole. So it just gets more and more interesting every time. And shirts came off because, you know... We're tough because we have tattoos and our shirts came. I don't know. It is what it is. So my recommendation, you know, if you're going to drink around the world at Epcot, do it in moderation. Remember, other people are there too. If you're, you know, if something is getting heated, maybe get a cast member or excuse yourself. Do not get sucked into it if you can avoid it. And honestly, Space 220 isn't worth the money, so don't bother. Um, So we'll talk to you later. Bye.